think about what's happening around the world today and what are the impacting global trends, I mean, clearly it's technology, and of course you see that in Ireland so much, which is really the driver. What that's done is to build incredible connectivity. I mean, imagine that five billion people are going to be connected. And from that has come other sorts of global trends. For example, um, I'm going to talk today about the hollowing out of work, you know, the fact that the middle jobs have disappeared, they've been outsourced, they've been automated. What's left is low skill jobs or high skill jobs that require a lot more preparation. And then, of course, there's some big trends that are coming up that we're not quite aware of yet. Uh, and climate change, I guess, would be the most important one. And even right now, some of the uh, companies that we work at around the world, particularly those with supply chains in, Ch in Africa, are very, very aware of the impact that climate change is going to have over the next decade. Well, in my uh, book, The Key, it comes out in June, um, I talk about three levels of response, and it's really around resilience. I think organizations need to build resilient people they need to help their communities be resilient. And then they have to make some sort of a, an effort to think about the wider world. So, for example, in terms of resilient people, that means how do you help every single employee in your company be as emotionally resilient as possible? Um, how do you help them really harness the intellect they've got? And how do you really connect them to each other so you get that amazing wisdom of the crowd? Um, and there are companies around the world who are doing that very well. The second sphere of influence, uh, sphere of resilience, is really about the role they play in their communities. You know, how do you sit in your community? How do you help the community? And how do you work in your supply chains? And finally, it's really about resilience in the outer world. You know, how do you think about big global challenges like youth unemployment? like climate change, and you'll see that there are companies that are addressing that. For example, the IT companies in India are doing a huge amount right now on trying to build skills for young people. And companies like Unilever are working very hard to reduce their carbon footprint. Well, it seems to me that beyond all the things we've already always said about leadership, there are two aspects that are becoming really important. One is about the leader's relationship with themselves. Because more and more, we and, and young people are looking to leaders to narrate a way into the future. And to do that, you need to be values driven and you need to be courageous. And that is really about your relationship with yourself. So how you build authenticity, I think, becomes a very important part of what it is to be a leader. But leadership isn't just about what you do inside, it's also about your what I could call, might call the outer journey, you know, how you see the world. And I think, for example, understanding how the systems of the world work, understanding the role that corporations play in the world, uh, understanding how they can make a difference becomes a really important part. So I think for leaders, we need to think both about how do they uh, build resilience inside of themselves as people, but also how do they see the world uh, in a resilient way.